Hello and welcome to a new video about measurements. This time we are going to talk about a field bus. Okay. So we are talking about transferring information. Field bus is not a, a, I don't know, a farmer with his tractor uh, searching for all the beads and bringing them in from the field. Yeah, and my field bus is ready. Yeah, I have to harvest. <laughs> no, it's not a field bus. Field bus is communication. And we said, okay, bus communication, there are several communication partners, okay? So there are some stations yeah, in the field bus and those stations, yeah, they are connected to each other by one communication media. How this looks like? We will discuss in a separate video about topology, yeah? but this is typical for a bus system. Or we have one communication media every station can access. Okay? This is a bus. Huh? And field buses. This bus has to go to somewhere, to the field, to the field of application. Okay? This is the field of application. There's somewhere a sensor, there's somewhere a control system, this is somewhere in the so-called field in your area, yeah, what you want to automate. Yeah? So uh, this is a bus communication to the field. And this explains the name field bus. Huh? How many meters would you have from here to your, I don't know, melting area of metal which you want to automate <laughs> whatever process you want to automate will it be centimeters meters or more than a couple of meters hundreds of meters yeah? of course it is bigger yeah? and so those things are serial yeah? they are serial bus they are usually serial buses so we only have two wires. This is a typical field bus application. Two wires going somewhere, connecting. Two wires connecting every station to each other, and that's it. Yeah. This is a serial field bus. All of the field buses are serial field buses. Yeah. There are different, different types of field bus. You know, there's a profi bus. There's a there is a mod bus, there is a, a cam bus, there are a, a lot of different buses. Yeah? We will discuss this in later videos. Yeah? And since there are so many solutions yeah? and so many, you know, this started also, this started small, of course. Yeah? Somebody thought this would be a good idea and every automation company made their own field bus system yeah? and then somebody said hey one moment there yeah, if i have to use these companies items yeah, to to be able to i'm totally dependent to these companies cannot be cannot be yeah? and so the communication structure was uh, separated into parts into so-called layers Okay, there was the ISO OSI layer model developed. Yeah, so ISO OSI layer model. What is this? This separated the communication into different layers. Okay, they said we have different layers and they identified seven of these layers. So there's one.
two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are the seven layers. And somewhere is the communication partner, which is also the seven layers. And the trick is, yeah, somewhere here, is the real copper cable. Okay, oh, we already said copper cable. Huh? The real communication channel, let's call it communication channel. Because huh, what it looks like, from the logical point of view, it looks like this layer is directly communicating this to this layer. Yeah? So this layer is directly, for this layer it looks like it is talking to this layer. Huh? They have a logical connection to each other, and this layer is talking to this layer, and so on. Yeah? So the, the layers know each other. Yeah? In reality, of course, the, the data is dropping from one layer to the other, being transferred here, and then going up. This is the reality, yeah? but from a logical point of view, this layer does not really care what is underneath. Yeah? There is an interface implemented, and that's it. Yeah? There's an interface implemented, and he's saying, he's talking to this, I give it to this messenger. This is just a messenger for, the, for, for this layer. Right? And every layer takes care of a one specific task. And so, if these interfaces are defined, to each other. I can rip out one layer uh, and can install another layer from another company or whatever yeah? and this is still working. Yeah? And one example, yeah? the lowest layer, layer, layer number zero. Yeah? This is the so-called physical layer. Yeah? Physical layer. This physical layer, for instance, defines what is the communication media. First to say the copper wire. Well, this is one possibility, but there also might be, uh, you know, uh, light. Yeah? There also might be mono mode, multi mode, fiber, fiber optics, and, uh, or is it copper? Is it maybe even radio? <laughs> physical layer takes care of it. Yeah? The above layer, that's the link layer or the data layer. This ensures that the physical layer is not making mistakes. Okay? This ensures that the, the, the physical layer is not making mistakes. It checks if the, trans if the communication was correct and so on. This makes already some packages. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. The next layer, the next layer would be the network layer. Network layer, this, up to now, we only have one communication pattern. The network layer, for instance, this now takes care, this now takes care that, you know, we can pass several stations in between, that we can build a whole network, all right, so that we can send it to here, and then this one is sending further and so on, so we can do several hops in between. Network layer, yeah. Then there's the transport layer, 
I only mention the name now. This building a permanent communication a channel. Yeah? This is sending packages. This is already building a channel, a communication channel. All right. Then uh, we have the session layer. This session layer, you know, make make one session of a communication. If you hang up, if you if the communication, uh, if the the line is terminated, the session layer takes care that it can proceed from a certain state, from a certain state, something like that. Yeah. So can we can restart the communication session layer? Three, four. The next one is the so-called presentation layer. This makes the presentation fit fit for the for the application. Yeah? You know, several application may store information in a different form. This presentation layer transforms this information. Yeah? And finally, we have the application layer. Okay. This is six. Or if you want to start with one, then this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can find both variants. Yeah. Application layer is simply. You know, I have an application, I want to transmit this data chunk or whatever. Yeah, I want to load this, this website. This is the easy oozy layer model. This now makes us a little bit independent from the manufacturer, so we can now make interoperability between different different things. Yeah? And each communication device, each field bus, field bus uh bus feed bus uh, device has its own defined layers. Yeah. So there is, I don't know, profi bus, then the physical layer is a two wire, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So these things are, are well defined and so everybody can manufacture four different field bus systems, their devices. And they only adapt somewhere here yeah, and the above layers are the same so it's not a big and not, not a too big effort to support several field bus systems and so on yeah, so this this really helped the diversity okay i already said how the stations really are connected this depends on the thing called topology okay and this is topic of the next video topology for this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.